Special thanks to Patreon supporter Never Give Up for making this tutorial possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, scared to if we're here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Dassault Brigitte Superintendard. The Dassault Brigitte Superintendard is a French carrier-borne strike fighter aircraft designed by Dassault Brigitte for service with the French Navy. The aircraft is an advanced development of the Intendard IVM which he replaced. The Superintendard first flew in October 1974 and entered French service in June 1978. Uh, French superintendents have served in several conflicts such as the Kosovo War, the war in Afghanistan, and military intervention in Libya. Argentina's use of uh, superintendents and Exocet missiles during the 1982 Falcons War led to the aircraft gaining considerable popular recognition. The superintendent was also operated, operated by Iraq and Argentina, who both deployed the aircraft during wartime. The superintendent was used by Iraq to attack oil tankers and merchant shipping in the Persian Gulf during the Iran-Iraq War. In uh, French service, the superintendent was replaced by the Dassault Raphael in 2016. So overall, a very um, you know interesting aircraft for sure. Um, an aircraft that you know is basically pretty much been phased out of service completely. Um, it does still serve in very limited numbers in the Argentine uh, Navy. Um, in total, 85 were produced, which is quite a considerably small amount, um, considering, you know, obviously being a strike fighter and all that stuff and having a pretty, uh, you know, large role. Uh, but yeah, it was an uh, interesting aircraft for sure, and, uh, you know, uh, was replaced by the Dassault Raphael. So overall really cool aircraft and a uh, French uh, pretty much solely naval plane and uh, which is also really cool so that's kind of a little fun uh, thing for it is we haven't done a French naval plane um, you know or solely naval plane really so uh, cool stuff there but yeah um, before we go and take a look at the build I just want to go and give a special thanks to our Patreon supporter that made this build possible. Uh, the Patreon supporter uh, for this video was Never Give Up so uh, big thanks to him for making this tutorial possible. And if you guys are interested in supporting the channel and also uh, earning a vehicle request uh, of your choice every month, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is down in the description. We can pledge a small amount every month to the channel, and uh, then you can earn a vehicle request of your choice. So pretty cool stuff. And um, you know, feel free to check that out if you guys are interested. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the superintendent and see exactly what we got going on here. And obviously, we'll move into the tutorial here shortly. So, starting off with, obviously, um, there wasn't, uh, there's a pretty standard camouflage. It kind of uses a color of two different grays to kind of create like a little camouflage pattern on it. Um, unfortunately, with Minecraft, we really don't have the slabs and the stairs and the ability to kind of create those two different distinct uh, colors and shades from each other. So I went ahead and just did a solely gray um, color scheme and then I did a white underbelly on it. Um, Cause again, you know, I didn't want it to be just a solely gray aircraft. So I just added a white underbelly onto it and all that stuff. But um, very hard to actually get the real camo scheme and I would have loved to do it if I would, you know, had the blocks to do it. But unfortunately I don't. So kind of had to uh, basically work with what we got here. But anyways, we had the black painted nose, which a lot of them seem to have. As we move back, we have obviously the cockpit right here. Um, pretty straightforward there. We have the intakes here on both sides for the jet engine itself. Uh, on the bottom here, we have uh, some drop tanks on both sides and also some uh, missiles here as well mounted onto the wings. And uh, the tail, uh, wings, all that fun stuff. And overall, it's a pretty you know smaller kind of sized aircraft, but uh, definitely a pretty cool one nonetheless and a strike fighter as well. So. You know, fun little build um, to add up to your French lineup. Um, overall, that's pretty much it for the overview. Let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Alrighty, guys. So going ahead and moving into our first layer, we'll be going ahead and starting off with layer number two. Now, the reason why we're starting off with layer two is just because we get a little bit more of the fuselage built up and the wings and stuff, and it's just gonna be a little bit easier for us moving forward in this tutorial instead of starting off with layer one. And you'll see why when we do layer one, it's pretty uh, much just doing the bottoms of these. Um, these uh, drop tanks on the sides there. 
Um, anyways, before we go ahead and dive into it, a few things real quick. If you're completely new to my aircraft tutorials, the way I like to structure these tutorials, I like to do half on camera, half off. What this means is I'll go ahead and be building the right side of the build and the center line on camera, and then in between layers, you're going to take that, what we did on the right side, and flip it over to the left side. Uh, the aircraft itself is completely symmetrical, so what we do on one side, you're going to do to the other. Um, so it's pretty straightforward and nothing really uh, crazy, so that's just what we want to basically do. Um, also, if you do want to build this thing landed, which we do have a landed version of it, as you can see on the ground there, um, that is also a possibility. So for this, obviously, you can go ahead and uh, make sure that you have a clearance of two blocks full, of full space between the ground level that you can see right here and where we're going to start here for layer number uh, two on the build. Um, and the landing gear will fit in perfectly right there and you'll be pretty much good to go. So again, two blocks of space in between the bottom of the nose here and also the ground level here. Anyways, let's go ahead and start off with the build. If you're building this airborne, you don't have to worry about that, but just note that this is the, um, not the lowest point of the aircraft, but pretty dang close. Anyways, to start off with, we're going to place down a black wool block like this, followed by another brick upside down stair and top side coming off the narrow brick upside down stair coming toward the front. Once that's done, come off the black wool block, we're going to go ahead and place down two quartz full blocks back quartz up and down stair and then we're going to do a long row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, quartz top sides back and I'm just going to go and double count, double uh, check this real quick and the count is 21 quartz top sides back from that quartz up and down stair. When that's done there, going back up to the nose, we're going to work our way up to the side and coming off this black wool block, we're going to place down a narrow brick up down stair like so. After that narrow brick up down stair, we're going to place down a quartz up down stair back and then a quartz corner stair, come off that quartz up down stair so like so. And then just a quartz top slab on this quartz up down stair and that quartz uh, top slab there. When that's all done, we're going to place down a skeleton skull, come off this quartz top slab here, so the one coming off the quartz cor up down corner stair and then an end rod coming off that uh, skeleton school toward the front there like so. Once that's done here, we're going to go to this middle row of quartz top sides. We're going to count back to the fifth quartz top side back. Out to the side, we're going to place down a iron trap door like this, followed by a second one out to the side, and then going back from the second one, we're going to go one and two iron trap doors back. With that finished there, we're going to take our quartz top sides. We're going to go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Quartz top sides back from that iron trap door there. And after that, we're going to go ahead and go one and two iron trap doors back like that. After that's done there, we want to go ahead and go to the second to last quartz top slab in this row on the outside here. We're going to go ahead and count uh, one and two blocks out to the side. And then we're going to place down a quartz top slab like this on the side there. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and skip another space of uh, bl blocks going out to the side there. And then at this point here, we're going to place down a stone brick stair or sorry stone brick slab and then come off that stone brick slab we're now going to place down a stone brick stair so just like that and then come off the back of the stone brick stair we're going to grab ourselves some polished andesite and we're also going to need some cobblestone walls we're going to place down a row of one two three uh four and five polished andesite blocks going forward and on the first four uh polished andesite blocks after that stone brick stair we're going to place down cobblestone walls on the side. So we have this one polished andesite block sticking out toward the front and then a stone brick slab coming off of it like that toward the front there. When that's done there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some quartz slabs and we're going to be going ahead and putting the missile on. So for the missile itself, uh, really simply, we're going to go ahead and go off of this uh, cobblestone wall here. We're going to place down a quartz top slab out to the side followed by a skeleton skull that comes off of it toward the front. Going back from that quartz top slab, we're going to place down a row of what is going to be four more back. So we have one, two, three, four um, uh, quartz top slabs back here and it should be actually a total of five. So we have a total of five going back from the skeleton skull, total of four going back from this first quartz top slab there. Once that's done there, we're gonna grab ourselves some uh, one dark oak grid fence gates, also a skeleton, wither skeleton skull on the quartz top slab on the end here to place down a wither skeleton skull. Go down to the sides here of this quartz top slab and on both sides we're gonna place down a dark oak fence gate opened up toward that quartz top slab. With that all finished up there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a wooden sign and we're going to take our wooden sign and place it down on the side of this dark oak fence gate like this on both sides there for the fins of the missile. We then want to go ahead and uh, delete any placeholder blocks, anything like that that we place down 
And we're also going to go ahead and go to this front top slab up here and place down a dark oak fence gate coming off that top slab as well. And uh, that'll be done there on both sides. So now you can see we went ahead and into the right side. You're gonna take that same design, flip it over the left side. So you should get something that looks just like this for the aircraft to go ahead and wrap up layer two. With that all done, we're gonna go ahead and move down to layer one, finish that off and then move our way up to layer three. Alrighty guys, moving on to layer one. Layer one is probably going to be our simplest layer for us to do. Um, for this to go ahead and get started here, we're gonna place down an iron trap door on the bottom of this stone brick slab up on the front here for these fuel pods on the side. We're then gonna take our quartz top slabs and go back one, two, three, four, and five blocks back, followed by two iron trap doors on the bottom of this uh, stone brick slab and this stone brick stair. We're gonna go ahead and go over to this side and do the same thing. Just like this, and once you have that done, that's gonna wrap up layer one. With that, we're gonna move up to layer three. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer three, for us to go ahead and get started here, we wanna go ahead and place down a narrow brick slab on top of this narrow brick top slab like this on the front here. We're then gonna place down two black gold blocks back from the narrow brick slab, followed by two polished andesite blocks. Now, at this point right here, you can choose to go ahead and fill in the space by just placing down a row of four polished andesite, or you can leave this space open and have space for a cockpit if you do want to go ahead and include a cockpit. Uh, for this design here, I'm not going to really um, do a cockpit or anything like that, so I'm just going to go ahead and basically fill this in with polished andesite, but these four blocks you could leave open for a cockpit if you really wanted to. Uh, but basically, what we want to go ahead and continue back with our polished andesite blocks until, in total, this whole row equals 21 blocks. So if we went ahead and had this space dug out here, and we want to go ahead and count back, we can go ahead and see that this is going to be 15 blocks back from this empty space here. So depending on which, uh, whatever version you're going for there or whatever you want to do for this cockpit section, um, that's what you got going on for you guys there. Anyways, with that done there, we're gonna place down a glowstone block after this row of polished andesite, <clears throat> followed by a orange stained glass block and then two narrow brick slabs back. And then the narrow brick slab here should hang out past one by this quartz top slab. So make sure that it's all lining up correctly there on the back. Once that's done, we're going to go back over to the front and start working our way out to the side. We're going to place down a wither skeleton skull, come off this black wool block to the side. We're then going to take our cobblestone walls, place down one and two cobblestone walls back, followed by one, two, and three polished andesite blocks, a uh, block of quartz. And then after that block of quartz, we're going to be placing down a row of two of quartz ups and down stairs, and then a quartz ups and down corner stair, just like that, come off those two ups and down quartz stairs. Um, once that's done there, we're going to go ahead and uh, grab our polished andesite. And we're going to go and place down a row of one, um, one polished andesite block. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and uh, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen polished andesite blocks back. So let me go ahead and get a full count. And we have fourteen polished andesite blocks back from this quartz upside down stair. Once that's done, on the uh, back here, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair like so. Come off that orange stained glass block, followed by another upside down stair next to it. So you have this a corner stair, regular stair like this. And then we just want to place down a narrow brick upside down stair. Come off that stone brick upside down stair like that to go ahead and round off the back there in that engine area. With that done there, we're going to go ahead and go back up to the front. We're going to go, ahead and go off this first quartz upside down stair. We're going to place down a brick stair like so for part of the intake. We're then going to place down two stone brick stairs after it, followed by a black wool block like so. After that black wool block, we're gonna place down a row of one and two polished andesite blocks back. We're then gonna switch to quartz stairs. We're gonna place down a quartz upside down stair, come off that polished andesite block like so. And then come off that quartz upside down stair, we're gonna place down one, two, three, four, five, and uh, we're gonna go and do six and seven quartz upside down stairs back. So in total, you have seven upside down stairs going back from that quartz upside down corner stair. With that done there, we're gonna go ahead and go to our next row out. So this is gonna go ahead and go up to this polished andesite block here. We're gonna place down a stone brick top side coming off of it, followed by a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven blocks back, giving you a total of eight here. And then we just wanna place down a stone slab like that on the end. Um, with that done there, we're gonna go ahead and go to our next row to the side here. We're gonna take our quartz top slabs, go to the second top slab like this, place down a quartz top slab coming off of it, just like this. And we want to go back one, two, three, four, five, six, or uh, sorry, just five back. So you have a row of six here, and then we're gonna place down a quartz upside down stair, and fall by that fall by a polished andesite block, 
and then a upside down stone brick stair here on the back. Um, so let me go and grab one and stone brick upside down stair like that. Now when that's done there, for our next row out to the side here, we're going to go and place down a quartz slab, top slab, come off the second slab here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, um, and seven, quartz top slabs back, followed by a stone top slab come off the side here of the stone brick upside down stair. Uh, once that's done there, uh, we're going to go, and go ahead and place down a quartz upside down stair that's going to come off of this quartz top slab, so the second one right here, we're going to place down an upside down stair like this, and then going back from it, we're going to go ahead and go one, two, and three more upside down stairs, you have an upside down corner stair, and then three regular stairs back. We're then going to place down a row of two of quartz top slabs, and then a stone top slab on the end there. With that done, we're going to go on the side here, go to our second stair, place down a quartz top slab, followed by one, two, three, four, and five back, followed by a stone uh, top slab like that on the end there. Our next row out to the side, we want to go ahead and place down a uh, quartz upside down corner stair. So we're going to place down an upside down stair like this. So as you can see, it's facing that direction. And actually, this right here is actually going to drop back by two. So we're actually going to go to the third quartz top slab back, place it down like so. And then we want to place down uh, one and two upside down stairs coming off of it like that. So you have these two upside down stairs here. This upside down corner stair for uh, that wings right there and then going back from these stairs we're going to place down a quartz top slab followed by a stone top slab like that back going ahead and go to our uh, second stair right here we're going to place down a quartz top slab come off of it followed by one two and three quartz top slabs back followed by a stone top slab on the end here our next row out to the side we're going to place down a quartz top slab come off the second one right here we have one two three quartz top slabs and then a stone top slab like down the end and then out to the side again, we're going to place down a quartz top slab, come off the second one from the front there, and then one and two back, so you have a row of three here along the side there for the tip of the wing. Once that's done, you're going to take that same design, flip it over to the air side, and you'll have your two main wings pretty much set up and ready to go. And with that all done, that's going to wrap up layer number three. With that, let's move on to our next layer, layer number four. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number four. For layer four, to go ahead and get started here, we're going to place down a iron trap door on top of this black wool block right here. After the iron trap door, we're to place down a stone brick slab, followed by a row of one, two, three, four, and five light gray stained glass full blocks. After that row of five light gray stained glass full blocks, we're going to place down a long row of 15 polished anisite blocks back, followed by a glowstone block on top of the one from the previous layer like so, and then a orange stained glass block, two narrow brick top slabs back like that, and that's going to conclude there for your center row down the aircraft. Moving our way out to the sides, we're going to go, ahead and go to the polished anisite block right here. And on both sides here, we're going to do a skeleton skull at a slight 30 degree angle like that on the sides there. Going back from the skeleton skull, we're going to place down a row of two of stone brick slabs, followed by a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 polished anisite blocks back. Two stone brick stairs like this, and then a another brick stair like that to wrap that off uh, right there. For the fuselage. Um, out to the sides here, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a brick stair. We're going to place down a brick up down stair on top of this brick stair there. And then going back from the brick stair here, we're going to place down one and two stone brick up down stairs. With that done there, we're going to place down a black wool block, followed by a row of one, two, three, four, five polished anisite blocks back. After that, we're going to place down one, two, and three stone brick stairs like this back, and then a stone brick slab, followed by a light gray carpet. Now, uh, on the sides here, when it comes to this, um, you can go ahead and choose to put some banners on the side here, which will uh, basically mimic lettering. And you can also choose to leave, just cover up the uh, black wool right here, and that's kind of like the main thing we're doing there. Um, however, if you are wanting to do the lettering, or the numbering, the lettering, whatever you guys want to do for it, I will be linking tutorials down in the description for you to put your own numbering on the side of the aircraft. And you can put whatever number you guys want. If you're having multiple of these in one area, you can have them all different numbers and stuff like that. But there will be a tutorial link down in the description to show you guys how to do lettered and also numbered banners. So you can choose and uh, decide what you guys want to do here. And for me, I just went ahead and made this aircraft number 30. So I'm going to go ahead and just do 30 here on the side. And you get the general idea of the positioning of them and put that on both sides. Anyways, with that done, we're going to continue on back. We're going to go ahead and place down a light gray carpet on top of this uh, uh, this quartz 
top slab there. We're going to then place down an iron trap door after that. After that's done, we're going to take stone brick slabs. We're going to go back one, two, three, and four. Stone brick slabs back, followed by one and two iron trap doors after that. Once that's done there, we're going to place down a light gray carpet, turn off this iron trap door, and then going back from the light gray carpet, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, and five uh, iron trap doors back, and then one and two uh, light gray, or sorry, just my bad, one light gray carpet, or my bad, it's actually going to be a longer row, so my apologies, there's actually going to be a row of six of iron trap doors like that on the side here. Going back up on this course top side, we're going to place down one light gray carpet, one, two, three, four. Um, iron trap doors going back like this, and then we just want to place down two more light gray carpets like that going back. Once that's done, another light gray carpet in the front here, two iron trap doors back, row of one, two, three, uh, light gray carpets uh, back like that. Once that's done, all the remaining quartz top slabs and upside down stairs. On the top here, we're going to go ahead and take light gray carpet and just go ahead and cover it up like so to go ahead and make the wing fully gray from up above. And obviously, you're going to take the same design, flip it over to the air side. And with that, that's going to conclude layer number four. With that, let's move on to layer number five. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer. We're going ahead and move on to layer five. For layer five, to go and begin with, we're going to place down a like, or sorry, a nether brick slab on top of the second light gray stained glass uh, block like that. After that, uh, nether brick slab, we're going to place down one, two, three, and four light gray stained glass uh, full blocks back. After that's done, after those light gray stained glass full blocks, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five polished andesite blocks back, followed by a stone brick stair. After the stone brick stair, we're going to place down one, two, three, and four stone brick slabs back. We're going to place down a stone brick stair facing the opposite direction from this one. And going back from the stair, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five polished andesite blocks back, followed by a stone slab full block a cobblestone wall and then an iron trap door come off the top portion of the cobblestone wall like so. On the side of the cobblestone wall we're going to place down a wooden sign there on both sides. Moving back up to the front we're going to go ahead and go to the sides of these uh, middle three like gray stained glass uh, full blocks and we're going to place down uh, like gray stained glass panes on both sides of them. Once that's done we're going to place down a stone brick stair like this. Coming off the stone brick stair back we're going to place down one, two, three, uh, stone brick stairs back like this and then we're going to place down each stone brick corner stair like that So you have a stone brick corner stair, row 3 stone brick stairs, stone brick corner stair like that After that's done, we're going to take our stone brick slabs We're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 Stone brick slabs back and then a row of 1, 2, and 3 Iron trap doors after those stone brick slabs uh, Going ahead and going back up to, or back out to the sides here We're going to go ahead and place down two iron trap doors on these uh, two stone brick ups down stairs and then we're going to place down a row of one, two, and three of stone brick slabs. And then a row of one and two skeleton skulls and one at a slight 30 degree angle like so. When that's all finished there, that is going to wrap up uh, layer number five. And with that, we can move on to layer six. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer six. For layer six, for us to go ahead and get started here, we're going to place down a narrow brick slab on top of this uh, light gray stained glass block right here. Uh, and we're also going to place down another... Um, their brick slab on top of this one right, right back here. Uh, once that's done, we want to go ahead and then place down an iron trap door, followed by a nether brick fence post, and then a narrow iron trap door that goes back like so. Uh, with that all done there, we're going to go ahead and uh, then uh, work our way uh, back. So from this, we're going to go ahead and go to the tail here. We're going to place down a stone brick slab, followed by one, two, three, and four polished andesite blocks. A stone slab uh, full, full block here, stone brick up sound stair, and a skeleton skull coming off that stone brick stair. Now coming off the stone brick stair, we're going to place down an iron trap door, or sorry, an iron slab to the side, followed by one and two quartz top slabs forward. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and place down a quartz top slab, coming off the stone top slab here, stone slab top slab back like this, and then one that goes forward. After that's done, we're going to place down a quartz top slab out of the side, stone top slab like this, and then one and two quartz top slabs like this, followed by a stone top slab like that. Once that's done, we're going to place down a uh, quartz top slab off this one, and also this uh, stone top slab like that on the side there. And that right there will kind of do it there for the um, tail. And with that, that's going to wrap it up for layer 6. So obviously take that, copy it over to the other side, and when you have that all complete, we're going to move on to our next set of layers, which is going to be layers 7, 8, and 9, and actually 10. We're going to go and basically do all the top detail, finish that off, and pretty much uh, call good for the in-flight model of the uh, Super Nintendo. All right guys, moving on to our last final layers for the Super Nintendo, we have layers uh, seven through 10. 
for these layers to go ahead and get started here we're going to go to the second polished anisite block here in this row for the tail we're to place down a stone brick stair on top of it we then want to place down a row of one two and three polished anisite blocks back followed by a stone slab full block like that we then want to take our light gray carpet and place it down on top of all these quartz top slabs and we're going to be doing the same thing over here um, so both sides here we're going to do all together since it's pretty simple stuff on uh, both sides once that's done we're going to go ahead and work our way up a layer so we're going to go ahead and go on top of this polished anisite block place down a stone brick slab and going back from the stone brick slab we're going to place down two polished anisite blocks like this followed by a stone slab full block we then want to go ahead and go to the sides here these two polished anisite blocks and place down two iron trap doors on the top portion of the block and we're also going to place down a cobblestone wall that comes off the stone slab block toward the rear there once that's done, on top of this polished anisite block here, we're going to place down a stone brick stair, skeleton skull coming off of it forward, and then one and two polished anisite blocks back. Um, after that's done, on top of the middle polished anisite block here, we're going to place down an iron, or sorry, an end rod up on top of it, followed by light gray carpets on top of these two iron trap doors to both sides like that. And once that's all complete, that's going to pretty much wrap that up for the Super Nintendo. And I actually think one of the things I changed actually on the Linda version there was actually this um, skeleton skull actually for a wither skeleton skull, which I think looked a little bit better on the tail there. Uh, but anyways, once you have that all finished off, that's going to pretty much wrap it up for the in-play version of the uh, Desalt uh, Brigitte uh, Super Intendard. If you guys are interested in building the landed version, we're now going to move on to that, basically taking the design we have here and modifying it to work with the ground. Um, anyways, that's going to wrap it up for the in-flight version of the Super Nintendo. Let's move on to the landed version. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into the landing gear of the aircraft. It's overall pretty simple to go ahead and throw on. And uh, we'll just basically take modifying this aircraft here that we built in the in-flight version. Just making it landed. So uh, basically going ahead and kind of uh, reiterating what I said earlier. We need to make sure that we have two blocks of space from the very front nose here and ground level. If it's one block taller, one block lower, it's not going to work. You need to fix the aircraft and its height before you can go and put the landing gear on. Anyways, let's go ahead and dive into this and get started. Now the first thing for us to do is to go ahead and take this quartz uh, uh, block right here. We're going to turn this in, or this quartz slab. We're going to turn this into a quartz full block. We then want to go ahead and go to the quartz top slab behind it. We're going to delete this quartz top slab and in its place place down a cobblestone wall. Now after this uh, cobblestone wall we're going to break these next three quartz top subs out like this and we can go and break these two polished anisite blocks out as well now uh on top of the cobblestone wall here we're gonna place down a quartz upside down stair like this and going down from it we're gonna place down a cobblestone wall going back from the quartz upside down stair and place down one two and three stone brick top slabs so we have something that looks like this for the inner kind of wheel well here with that done there on uh both sides of this cobblestone wall we're gonna place down a stone brick slab like this after that's done, going back from the cobblestone wall, we're going to place down a quartz uh, upside down stair like so. And we're going to place down a skeleton skull on both sides of that quartz upside down stair. Going down continuously, we're going to place down a quartz top slab coming off the bottom of this quartz upside down stair. And on both sides of the quartz top slab here, and also the front side, we're going to place down signs wrapped around it like so. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a black wool block. We're going to place down a black wool block coming off this stone brick top slab toward the back here with a... Um, or sorry, a, black, a block of coal, my bad. And we're going to place any stone button on both sides of it like that for the wheel itself. Also coming off the back of this um, this uh, quartz stair, we're going to place down a lever flicked upwards like that to connect up to this full block right up here. When that's done there, over here on the left side, we're going to place down a quartz, or sorry, a stone brick top slab connected up to that quartz stair. Over here on the other side, we're going to do something a little bit different. So for this, we're going to place down a uh, quartz upside down stair like this. Followed by a quartz full block and then a quartz upside down stair, um, or sorry, my bad, a quartz regular stair, just like this for the panel that would open up uh, over this hatch here for the landing gear to come down. And once you have that done, that's going to do it there for the front landing gear. And with that, we're going to go and move into the rear landing gear. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving into the rear landing gear. Uh, for the rear of the landing gear, it's pretty simple and straightforward, and we're only going to do the right side as the left side is exactly the same. So what we're doing on the one side, obviously, is going to go on the other side. Now for this, we're going to go, ahead and go to this inner row right here. We're going to go to these quartz upside down stairs. We want to go ahead and go to the uh, third and fourth stair from the rear, and we're going to go ahead and break those um, stairs out like that. 
Now when that's done there, we're gonna go ahead and then break the polished andesite blocks that were here in these quartz top slabs. We then wanna go ahead and place down iron trap doors on the bottom of these two. Um, I believe those are stone brick, a stone brick stair and a stone brick, or two stone brick stairs, sorry my bad. We're just gonna place down iron trap doors on the bottom of them. Now going down from this polished andesite block, we're gonna place down a stone brick slab like this, followed by a stone brick top slab down like that. Once that's done, we're gonna place down a quartz stair like that coming off the stone brick slab like that and then up above here coming off this or co coming off or basically where this quartz top slab is we're gonna go and uh, swap this out for a quartz up sound stair like so going down from the quartz stair we're gonna place down a cobblestone wall and on the bottom of this cobblestone wall we're gonna place down a quartz top slab coming off this quartz top slab we're gonna place down a another brick upside down stair which let me go and go into the creative menu and grab real quick we're gonna place down a nether brick upside down stair coming off of it to the side, followed by a nether brick stair on top of it, and same thing back here to go ahead and complete the wheel and round that off. You're gonna take this same design we did over here on the right side, flip it over to the left side, and we'll go ahead and take a look and see what it looks like with the way that you're done on both sides. And taking a look in the back here, you can see we have the right wheel in and we have the left wheel like that for our rear landing gear. And with that all done, that's going to wrap up my tutorial for the Desalt Brigitte uh, uh, Super and Tendard. Uh, carrier strike fighter hopefully you guys do enjoy this build and are able to put it to good use again a big thanks to patreon support and never give up for making this tutorial possible and uh, you know hopefully you guys can all enjoy this build and put it to good use um, other than that that's going to wrap this up if you guys do be using the design i do say you guys give me proper credit for it this can be anything from sign the build to my channel or this video if this does appear on any social media sites just be sure you get proper credit for this build. That's all I ask for doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and it continues to keep me inspired to keep on posting these types of videos. So as long as you guys give me credit for your free for projects you guys are working on. Other than that, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett 2 before and I'll see you guys next time.